Hey, what's up? Improvement Warrior, Jason Yun, back with you again. I wanted to talk to you about leptin, weight loss, and why you are not getting the weight loss or getting the health or getting the body that you truly want. And mostly it is because you are focused on weight loss. Understand that if you are leptin resistant, then you must take care of your leptin resistance first and foremost before anything else. Because leptin is our master hormone. It is basically the controller. It's the controller of it is, it's not basically, it is the controller of all energy metabolism. And you want to think of leptin as basically an accountant for how much energy you have in the body. Okay? And I made another video talking about how uh, eating frequent meals is going to mess up your leptin and you'll never get back to leptin sensitive if you're constantly eating four, five, six or more meals per day. Uh, because leptin, it, fat is our ultimate energy source. Most people want to lose body fat um, even when they're, uh, when somebody loses, wants to lose weight, it's usually, they want to lose body fat. Um, for the most part. So they want to lose weight and body fat, but some people are at a point where they just want to lose body fat. So body, our body fat is the ultimate energy source. Okay? So typically it's between, we make, from a molecule of fat, we make between 134 and 147 molecules of ATP from one uh, one fatty acid, and then from glucose carbohydrates, you only make 36. So, quite a huge difference, and that is why fat is so much of a better energy source than carbohydrates are. Okay, especially when carbohydrates are not growing. Okay, so usually in the the fall and winter, depending on where you live and everything. So, if you are leptin resistant, then, and you are, that automatically means that you are insulin resistant. Because most people know about insulin resistance and not so much about leptin resistance. Okay, but leptin resistance is basically, most people think of it as uh, diabetics, type 2 diabetics, okay, their leptin receptor or their insulin receptors, they don't work as well. So they need more insulin to do the job that it used to do because insulin is not hearing the signals to lower the blood sugar back down to normal. Okay, but if you are insulin resistant, so if you are type 2 diabetic or you're pre-diabetic, which if you are overweight, you are pre-diabetic automatically. So if that is happening, that means leptin resistance showed up a while before the insulin resistance ever showed up. And depending on how long you have been insulin resistant and leptin resistant, you may be adrenal resistant. Most people have heard of adrenal fatigue. Okay. Adrenal fatigue does not start in the adrenals, it starts in the paraventricular nucleus. A lot of people don't know that. However, all three of those are big issues. And if you do not take care of them, then the health will just continually knock, get knocked down and get knocked down and get knocked down. And you'll feel worse and worse. And then the longer you wait, the harder it is going to be 
to get yourself back to normal. Okay? So usually to fix your leptin resistant, it takes anywhere between four to six weeks on average. Okay? But I tell people in my leptin webinars, don't think that you're average. Okay? For you, it may take eight weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks. It may take six months. Okay? But it's better than you gotta start which is the reason why it's frustrating dealing with people and I know people will get so frustrated when they just focus on weight. Okay, if you focus on weight, you're never gonna get healthy. It's that simple because weight doesn't do anything. Usually when people cut weight, they exercise more, they eat less. That is a recipe for disaster. That messes up your hormones, leptin especially, and when you're leptin resistant, and you need to get back to leptin sensitive for the weight and the body fat to fall off, you can see the cascade that is going to happen from there. Okay? So, how did you get back to leptin sensitive is, well, I'm not going to tell you. I have an entire webinar going over it. And if you're not willing to invest the time, then I'm not willing to go over it in this video here. So, improvementwarriorfitness.com backslash leptin, and that will take you through everything you need to know. Okay, but also remember that it is a mindset issue. Okay, it's a mindset issue as well. Not getting started is a problem with your mindset. It's also a problem with your dopamine levels. So dopamine is very important neurotransmitter and it allows you to basically think think straight, think clearly to be able to follow through. So a lot of people they'll start their nutrition program or they'll start their workout program but they can't follow through and I mean this goes to anything they'll start a, a business or a hobby and they can't follow through so dopamine levels controls that but that's another video for another day if you have questions or you need help let me know that is why I'm here 13 pillars of health webinar as well check that out improvementwarriorfitness.com backslash 13 pillars and improvementwarriorfitness.com slash leptin. Need to get this under control, especially now it's October. The, hol the holidays are coming up. Average American puts on 12 pounds during the holidays. Okay? And that's, so that's going to destroy the leptin receptors and make it even harder to get it back to leptin sensitive when you decide to start on January 1st. Okay? But that's a cycle. If you have that mindset, oh, it's the holidays, I'll wait till this time, wait till that time, it's never going to happen for you. It's consistency, consistency, consistency. It's, it doesn't matter what day it is, what week it is, you just do it and you stay consistent. That's it. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement warrior.